Hello everyone and welcome to another fine beer keg video. In today's video I'm going to show you how I deflate or depressurize a key keg. In this case this is a 20 litre key keg from the Buxton Brewery. It originally had blackberry, blackcurrant, ice cream, slushy. Pretty good slushy at 6%. But anyway, this key keg, as you can hear, is pretty well pressurized. And from my experience, you really don't want to try punching holes into it to do your projects when it's like this. In the past, I have tried and failed really quite spectacularly and messily using a drill to just put an air hole in the top to release the pressure. Yes, it does work, but if you value your clothes, your ceiling, I wouldn't advise it. So what I've done is I've bought a couple of tools. I have here a key keg depressurizing tool which you put on the top I'll show you that in a moment and you turn it and I have a beer keg tap with a little bit of hose and you'll see why in a moment now as you can see here on the inside there are three lips and these fit the three tags so when you put this on you meant to just turn it and then it's meant to release it now in the past hence the reason I used the tap and I'm going to use both today just to show you. This hasn't worked because this little cap here, that's the thing that's trying to push down to release the air. So when you put that on, you're kind of ramping it in and just releasing the air. So let's just give it a go. I've never found it. See, it really is hard work. Oh, now it's turning. And you can see, you can hear the air. Oh, I'm just frightened it's going to just Splat, splat of beer everywhere and that's kind of working so that only costs a couple of quid get that from a brewmaster outlet store online put a link to that in the description below but the piece of resistance is to have this one with the same lips and this is actually a beer tap but i'm going to use it in reverse just to degas it so you put it on lock it in place, pull the lever and the reason I like to use this with this pointed over there I'm not going to get covered in beer you can see, you can hear that beer in there it's probably going to come out, let's have a look no, no beer today oh no, look you can see that there that would have left a nice purple mess on the ceiling if I did that indoors incidentally I might use this one day and try and work out how to inflate the bag inside but that's for another project but anyway I believe that is done just release the cap Whoop. see never know when it's going to have a last little respite at you Wow, that's some coloured beer there. I don't, know if it, I don't know if it's the original colour, but yes. So what I do now is just before I go back inside, I will just wash this down and flush this through. Because from my experience, beer left in this state can be very, very sticky. So, leave that there, make sure I haven't put any mess on this, yep, clean off the bottom. Test it. Actually, that's still pretty hard. I still haven't done that. Right, now we have a key keg that we can use for a project. So there you go. Quite a simple tool, quite cheap to get. So if you're going to do key keg projects, I do recommend you put this in your toolbox.
I hope you like this little video. I hope it helps you out in your key keg projects. Do let me know how you get on in your project in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you get up to. In the meantime, I'm going to move on and do some new projects, so do hit that subscription button. If you like this video, then do give it a thumbs up. Keep safe, keep well, and I'll catch up with you with the next project.